this video, I redesigned three famous brands for each season. Each logo gets a design for winter, summer, fall, and spring, starting with the Apple logo. All right, so for the first one, let's do the winter Apple logo. I'm gonna just basically use this right here as the first thing. I think what I wanna do is just maybe put it right here at the top. Let's turn down the opacity so I can kind of see less of it. And then I'll actually just delete the parts that I want going outside of it. All right, the next thing, I think I'm gonna just change the base logo from black to maybe like gray or silver or something like that i think this one probably would match the best and then we'll put some drop shadow on it too and right, now i also want to add some snow in it too so i'll probably put that maybe at the bottom and i think i'm gonna erase it too so it kind of just fades away I'll try like a blue outline or something like that maybe definitely just makes it pop out more for sure all right now moving on to the next one we got fall we're definitely starting with another you know basic apple logo i'm gonna try and get an orange one that yeah right here and then i'm gonna just put some drop shadow on this too all right and the first idea i got for this i'm gonna just basically erase this whole leaf right here at the top so let me just put fall leaf design on google all right i feel like it really doesn't matter which leaf i use but i think i want to use a more skinnier type of leaf so it kind of matches to the actual one that was on the apple one in the first place i'm gonna try and change the color to actually match up with this red right here yeah i think that actually matches better right there all right now the next thing i want to do is actually put like some type of leaf design on the inside of the apple too i think i'm actually uh delete some of the one on the bottom and now for the next one is the spring for the apple logo right here i'm gonna try and get through this one a little bit quicker too since we still have a lot more logos we need to make i'll just search up like spring background i'm gonna try and use this as like the main base and i actually don't really like how bright it gets at the top so i'm gonna erase that and then we'll just change the color of the apple logo too so we can actually make it like blend in and look a little bit better this little top leaf part right here i think i'm gonna actually change that to another leaf as well and not even a leaf really just a flower i'm gonna put at the top part of it that's what we got so far and then i like how this little butterfly in the corner right there I probably just put it right here on the top of the flower the first thing i'm gonna do is really just add the little drop shadow and then uh, do the gradient too all right i think this is probably a good one right here and again i'm definitely gonna delete this little leaf at the top it's literally shaped like a surfboard and that would fit perfectly for this so i'm gonna put that all right so let's see what they have on google all right so i got this one right here i'm gonna literally just delete one of them and i think i'm gonna try and change the color too yeah, i think that kind of seems like it fades into that same color let's see what they have for like some type of summer background i'm gonna turn down the brightness of it too just to see if that helps all right now for the amazon logo we got the winter one right here to start and i think i'm gonna actually do some type of like present design i'm gonna just erase this o right here and then i just duplicated the end right here so i can move it and have more space so on this one i'm gonna need to delete it right here so i'm gonna get like a little present uh gift right here and i'm gonna essentially put that as the o right here if anything maybe i can just change the whole amazon logo to like green and red and see how that looks all right yeah that definitely matches overall pretty well and then on google i'm gonna try and get like a little bow tie design right here maybe all right yeah the first thing i want to try is this one right here but basically for right now what i want to try and do is just delete this right here this whole little uh arrow basically replace it with this for right now and just see how that looks and i think instead of under the a maybe i'll put it like right there maybe towards like that part of the a so that's how we set it up right there for now and then obviously it's cutting off a part of the m so i think i'm literally just cut off some of it and just see how this looks i just basically cut off some of that m right there so it looks a little bit more natural this might even be the best one so far i don't know but let's move on to the next one and i want to try a couple of different ones instead of just one in it so i'm gonna put it like one third basically of it and then we'll put like two more designs and i'm actually gonna real quick before i get the other designs i'm gonna fade it away with like the eraser right here too and this one i also really like too i'm gonna try this i kind of want the three of them to kind of look a little bit different from each other even though that's pretty simple i actually kind of like it let's move on to the next one and i'm moving on to the spring version like of this amazon logo right here i'm gonna just start with the drop shadow we'll start with changing the color too let me just search up like spring flowers on google right here and i'm gonna just put the flower design right here over the letter turn down the opacity on it too put like this little uh, outline on it too all right, now the last Amazon logo, we got the summer one right here before we go to the Twitter logo. The first thing I'm going to actually do right here, since I don't really like how uh, red it is, I'm going to change the color a little bit to more orange. And then I'm going to put it straight back into the logo now too. And honestly, I think I'm going to just actually delete it and put like a surfboard or something instead under it. All right, now for the last logo, we got the Twitter logo right here. So for the first thing, I'm gonna actually go back on Google right here and get these same icicles right here to start. And I think instead of on top, I'm gonna put it kind of towards the side. I'll put it like directly inside this part here. And then this part hanging off at the end, I might just have to just erase this right here. And then I can just see it as the whole thing right there. All right, then I'm gonna try some more of these right here, these little icicle things right here, but I'm gonna put it behind the logo this time. And I think the only other thing I should probably do for this is just change the overall color of the X right here. And I'm gonna just put it to like a light blue too, so it matches with like the rest of it. Then I'm gonna try and take off this little drop shadow right here and try like a glow instead and see how that looks. But yeah, that's definitely gonna be it right there. Let's move on to the next one. All right, now for the fall one, I'm gonna literally just start off with some drop shadow to start and then I'm gonna do the color overlay too. And we'll add some type of design on the inside. 
all right and i kind of like how the leaves are coming in on either side on the top and bottom we'll put some other type of design on the other parts there we go i think it looks pretty good all together now i'm gonna actually put like a drop shadow on all of it all right now for the spring version of this twitter logo right here first idea i have i'm gonna literally just delete this right here and turn it into a flower i'm gonna just take one of these super simple flowers right here actually to put and then we'll just delete like basically all of them except for one i think that actually looks pretty good already right there and i'll just put it behind the logo too instead of like putting it directly inside the rest of that i think what i'm gonna do erase everything outside of it all right yeah so now we have just that little part left directly in there i think i'll just put it one solid color instead of a gradient and try and match this one to that and i'll put it all together and put a drop shadow on it too now let's move on to the last and final logo so i'm gonna just start with this one and i'm gonna delete the background and then for that middle part of the x i'm gonna try and use this as it and then i'm basically just gonna delete what we have on the middle of it right there just so there's actually you know space to put that board instead i'll put like a little outline on this too so it kind of blends in with the black on the rest of that logo all right that's literally it we covered all the seasons for each logo i'll quickly show like literally all the designs on screen real quick too and that's gonna be it if you want to watch the next video it'll be on screen right there